Welcome to the Pokemon Uprising. I'm your leader, the Defiant One, aka Sharp to Queen Four, and today I'm going to be bringing you an update video from the ILOL or the Indigo League of Legends. The Indigo League of Legends is the Pokemon battling league that I am involved in. My team is the Icarus City Basharpians, and today we face off against Rockets Game Corner or the Rustboro City Stoners. It was a really tight match, and we have both brought some really powerful Pokemon. So we're actually going to jump right in and see for ourselves what how the match played out. <clears throat> He let off with his Rotom Heat, and I let off with my Thunderous. I went for the Taunt predicting like Willow or t uh, or Trick of something of the sort. So he goes for the Volt Switch and does a nice 47% and switches in Kinkelder. Predicting this, I went for HP Flying. I prepared HP Flying for Bloom and Kinkelder exclusively. But I went for a second HP Flying, trying not to over predict. And so then I jumped right into Rotom Watch to eat up uh, the Rotom Heat's Overheat. I'm assuming that with that damage, it was a max special attacking set. So he's going to go back into Kinkelder like I predicted, so I went and took the opportunity to go for a Reflect. So anyway, now I decided to switch into Obama Snow, predicting the knockoff, but he went for Drain Punch instead. And I was like, what the hell, dude? What the hell? I just felt like knockoff was the right play to make. And so anyway, he actually falls to the freeze hacks for my Blizzard, and I'm sure he's salty as hell right now. I kill him off with the Ice Shard, and that was one of the biggest threats on his team gone. So Gyarados comes in. At this point, I don't know if it's a Mega or not. He goes for the Ice Fang. I'm guessing he was predicting me to switch into Thunderous. But the fact that he switches out on this turn proves to me that he did not have Fire Fang. He would have stayed in if he had Fire Fang, and he would have killed off my Bomb Snow. So anyways, Rotom Heat comes back in, and I predicted the Overheat, but he goes for Volt Switch and gets a crit and does so much damage. He does so much. And this is my Trick Room Setter. As you can see, I have a lot of slow Pokemon. I have Skarmory, I have Chandelure, I have... Well, Chandelure is not exactly slow, but without the speed IVs is pretty slow. Uh, but I'm going to bring back in Thunderous, trying to go for the T-Wave on the Gyarados, but I thought that was really obvious, and I'm sure he did too. So anyway, Staraptor comes in. My Rotom is a max defense, max HP set, so he lives a close combat, nice and powerful. And then I'm going to go and land the Willow, burned and crippled this Staraptor. And now he's going to go for a second close combat, and I live at 14. And I'm just going to straight up go for a Hydro Pump. His special defense is halved, so he's definitely not living. So he's going to just straight up go into his Diggers B to try and priority kill me. He should have just went into his Rotom Heat. He knew he outsped, and he probably would have killed me with a Volt Switch at that range. But I managed to burn the Diggers B because he min rolled on the Quick Attack twice, and I Hydro Pumped him and took out his Diggers B. So at this point, I was really pumped because I was up 5-3 to three on him. Well, now it's 4-3. Uh, to three. Which is still pretty tight, actually, but he's gonna come out with his Klefki, and I'm just gonna, and he's gonna double switch, predicting that I was gonna go. I just went for the Tond anyway, but I'm gonna switch back out into Evergreen because I was assuming that he was gonna go for Overheat, and Evergreen was the biggest liability on my team at that point. And Evergreen actually fell to the Overheat. He actually missed the first one, which was unreal. But I'm just gonna take that opportunity to get a free clean switch in into Siegfried my Gallade. It is Assault Vest. It is not Mega, obviously. I went for knockoff. That is the point that I found out that Mega Gyarados is a thing. So he goes for the straight up bounce, which is actually fine with me because I can just switch into Skarmory, my defensive wall, and I can just completely wall out this Gyarados. No questions asked. So nine, the Skarmory. Don't judge me on that name. Uh, I just took the advantage of him switching because I know he couldn't really do anything to me. If he had Firefang, he would have revealed it. And I uh, switched and used him... Uh, I used the opportunity to use Stealth Rocks, and now Zeus is just in here spamming T-Bolt, because after he got the screens up, there isn't really a whole lot I can do. Even with the spikes, I'm in such a good, like, I'm in such a good position, because Skarmory completely walls out the Mega Gyarados, and after the Rocks, like, Rotom Heat has next to no HP, and I used the opportunity to get that special attack drop, so go into Gallade, clean him up with a Drain Punch, because I knew I was going to be living with the Assault Vest and with his special attack being dropped so far. Uh, I'm sure that he was choice, uh, and so anyway, Mega Gyarados comes out here, and I'm just going to straight up go for a Dragon, uh, uh, well, he goes for a Dragon Dance as a, as a last ditch effort, but I go for Drain Punch, win the game, that is GG to Rocket's Game Corner, his link will be down in the description below, he is a really chill dude, and I recommend that you go check him out. That is Bisharp to Queen 4 on behalf of the Icarus City Bisharpians. All I have to say is if you are a new viewer and you would like to enlist in Rebellion, all you need to do is click on the subscribe button, hit the subscribe button, like button, every little bit helps, and I'll be back bigger and better Pokemon videos. Until next time, you guys.